Welcome back guys. This is Jason, KM4ACK. Today, let's take a look at position reporting in WinLink and how that can be used for emergency communications. Stick around and we'll get right to it. Before we get to today's content, I've got to give a shout out to these three gentlemen. Uh, they are my latest patrons over on Patreon. If you'd like to help support the channel, I'll leave a link to Patreon down in the description below. One more quick note before we get going, guys. Uh, something that watching the video back in post-production, I thought uh, maybe could use a little clarification. If you were looking for position reports on the APRS system, obviously you have to have an internet connection, but that would be available to anybody uh, outside of an emergency zone that still had, emer or still had their internet. If you were in the field in a place like Puerto Rico after Maria, you obviously don't have internet, but uh, the position reports can still be pulled in through the WinLink system using nothing but RF. So just keep that in mind as we go through the video. All right, let's get to it. Guys, I got to give credit where credit is due. Uh, there is another ham, Kenny Whit. Uh, Kenny's call is Kilo Charlie 4, Oscar Juliet Sierra. And Kenny's the one that kind of uh, showed me how to use this in uh, a, a bit of a unique fashion. Uh, so for those that are uh, unfamiliar with position reporting in WinLink, uh, WinLink and now Pat Winlink as a version uh, 0.0.8, I think, uh, the latest one anyway, uh, both of those will allow you to send out your position uh, in latitude and longitude. And then if you go over to the Winlink site, you can click on position reports and you can see all of the different uh, people that have reported their positions. Now, a lot of times this is used by sailors uh, that don't have any other means of communication uh, so that family and whatnot can kind of check on them and see where they were last. But Kenny pointed out something really unique to me. Uh, it, it's not a unique feature. It's just I had never looked at it and saw how it worked. So let's go over to the Pat mailbox and let's click action and position. So of course it gives you the latitude and longitude up here. What I had never paid attention to was this comment box. And Kenny pointed out the comments and how it could be used during an emergency. So the example that Kenny gave to me was the force of 50 that went to Puerto Rico after Hurricane Maria. Uh, and one of the ways that this could be used is as soon as you get to your designated area uh, where you'll be operating from, you go ahead and post a position report out to WinLink. And in that comment section, so let's take a look at that again. In that comment section, you could put something like uh, monitoring 146.52 or monitoring 3980. Uh, or maybe monitoring JS8 call, something along those lines that other people would know how to reach out to you and be able to communicate. So think if you got people spread all over the, uh, the island of Puerto Rico, it's uh, basically a grid down scenario where you have no power, uh, you have no communications, no cell service, uh, well, no communications outside of amateur radio. If let's say we had a predetermined um, communications plan, but once we got into our places, we realized maybe we were go maybe we thought we could use two meter simplex, and because of the terrain, that's no longer a viable option. So what we can do is we can send out a position report, uh, put some information in the comments section, and then. After uh, maybe five or ten minutes, you could send out a request to see who is nearby. So this was something else that I was unaware of. So if you compose a message in WinLink, you want to send it to I-N-Q-U-I-R-Y. The subject line will be request, 
and in the body of the email, you're going to put WL2K underscore nearby, and that's all in uppercase. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, make a quick connection. We'll just use Telnet uh, for the sake of time here in this video. But we'll just go ahead and send that out, and then we'll give it, uh, you know, four or five minutes, and we'll wait for that reply to come back. But it would just be another way that you could kind of report um, or, or, or put something out there to where other people could know where you are. Now, not only does this report to the WinLink station, uh, or the WinLink system rather, uh, this also reports to the APRS.FI system. So even someone, uh, say back home, could pull up your call sign on APRS.FI, not only would they see your location, but they would see the comment that you left. So while we're waiting on that, let's jump over to APRS.FI and we'll do a quick search. Now I haven't done a position report in a few days uh, since I was playing with this, but let's just search for my call. There's my position report. You can see that it came from WinLink and here is the comment that I left uh, when I posted uh, this position report. So I just put in my comment that I was monitoring JS8 call 40 meters. So now anybody that was looking for me at that time would know how they could get in touch with me. All right, so let's go ahead and jump back to Pat and let's make another Telnet connection and let's see if that report has come through. Looks like it has, so let's jump over to the inbox and let's take a look at this. So here's the email. If you send that out and request that information of who's nearby, it looks at uh, your GPS coordinates and then it will, will pull in this information. And you can see all of these comments out over here on this side. So some people may just say they're uh, docked at a certain marina uh, in Mobile. Uh, or, or they're anchored at, at here or there. Uh, and and that's, that's really cool on a day-to-day -day basis uh, for these sailors to be able to put these comments out there and family and loved ones can kind of keep up with them. Um, this one's kind of interesting, cabin heater running. Um, so apparently it was a little chilly last night. But anyway, this is just another way that we can use one of the tools that we got in a way that you may not have thought about in the past. I thought it was a really, really slick idea when Kenny presented it to me. Uh, so I, I did want to give him credit for this and uh, kind of teaching me a unique way to maybe utilize this system. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you learned something new today. We will see you guys on the next video. Until then, 7-3.